One of the amazing things about the Searchers is that it wasn't appreciated when it came out. It was kind of another John Ford Western with John Wayne. You look at it today and say, how could anybody not appreciate this movie? But that's the case. We look at it today, and it's revered by so many contemporary filmmakers and fans and admirers because it's, it's so dense, it's so emotionally rich. There are so many layers in that film. Uh, first off, John Wayne plays as imperfect a hero as he ever did on screen. Uh, this is a man with demons. John Ford fell in love with Monument Valley in the late 1930s when he went there to shoot Stagecoach, his classic Western. And he returned over and over again to the point where some people felt he kind of had his trademark branded on that location. And when you see the searchers, it's easy to understand why. The, the scenery doesn't overwhelm the movie. It never dwarfs the actors, but it's, it's the backdrop. It is, it is a, a, a towering, majestic backdrop for this very uh, emotional drama that's taking place in the foreground. Those emotions in their own way are as big as, as those mountains and mesas and, and the mittens and all of those iconic uh, structures of Mother Nature in the backdrop. The Searchers is a movie that, that grows on you. It did on me. Uh, every time I watch it, I notice something I didn't realize the last time I saw it.